I'm here today on the farm of John Dial, just beside the village of Ballandagan, County Wexford. Fodder crops offer a cost-effective way of finishing store lambs and is a very popular option in County Wexford as it ties in nicely with tillage enterprises on farms. Sowing date has a huge bearing on crop yields and generally crops sown after winter cereals or directly into older grass lays earmarked for reseeding in early August work best as opposed to those crops established closer to the 1st of September. Incorporating fodder crops into reseed, similar to John, is also a good option and is more common on farms with no tillage enterprise. For sheep farmers, forage rape, hybrid brassicas or stubble turnips are the most common and effective options. These crops will offer high energy in excess of 1 UFL per kilo of dry matter and crude protein of typically 18-20%. to 20%. Therefore lambs will generally achieve daily live weight gains of 300 grams a day or 2 kilos a week depending on the autumn, during the autumn or winter period where live weight gains from grass only at this time of the year will be considerably less than this. Well when I'll be putting them in on the crop first to be about 35 up to 37 or 8 and the weight gains will be about um, 2 kilos a week. The weights that I'll be drafting will uh, be around from 44 to 47. The kill out to be about 47%. This year we use no meal. There was 115 lambs went in here and within four, four and a half to five weeks we had 90 of those sold. So then we put in another 80 or 90 on it. So there's lambs selling every week and there's no meal being used. It's as good as meal. In terms of allocations and carrying capacities, earlier sown crops with covers between three to 4,000 kilos of dry matter per hectare or up to hip height are generally able to carry between 120 and 140 store lambs per acre per week weather dependent. From a health perspective, fodder crops tend to contain gytrogens which inhibit the uptake of iodine while grazing, so an iodine based mineral supplement is recommended. As with all fodder crops, the advice is to introduce the crop slowly to avoid any digestive upsets initially and ideally giving access to a grass run back to offer an alternative fibre source.